Neighbors in Portsmouth say they've had enough of chronic crime. They've heard too many reports of burglaries and robberies in the credit section, and they're doing something about it. A 10 on your side's Matt Gregory joins us from the neighborhood now. And Matt, what was the turning point for them? Yeah, Anita, folks here say that this summer they've seen more than 40 burglaries, robberies, and car thefts. And rather than leave, they decided to do something about it, stand up to crime, and they have a plan that involves modern technology. A quaint afternoon in Craddock, where the breeze and stillness reminds folks like Chris Spiker why they moved here. Just looked like it had a nice homey appeal. You come in and you have beautiful trees on either side of the entranceway on Afton Parkway and it looked like an old-fashioned, old-timey neighborhood. Folks who live in Craddock say since summer began, they feel like they've seen crime go up. And they're right. According to a crime locator app from Portsmouth Police, in just one block, look, you can find an aggravated assault on Channing Avenue. You can find a burglary on Burstis Street, and you can also find a burglary with assault on Alwyn Road. time we got to the kitchen, the guy was standing there with a gun. Then um, he jumped my roommate at first, and he hit him on the head with a gun. And then he pushed him into the kitchen. This woman, so frightened by the events, asked to remain anonymous. But she says three men kicked in her door and stole from her at gunpoint. I was going to get shot. I was scared. I've never had that happen before. I was scared to death. Spiker says the neighborhood watch has come back stronger. And now they have technology like Nextdoor.com, a way to keep everyone in the know. As well as urgent crime alerts. If something uh, such as a home invasion happens, I can go on my phone and immediately report it, and it goes to every person in that neighborhood's phone. To these homeowners, it's still a quaint street, and the crime is just a speed bump. One well, they'll get over. We're staying, it's our community, not theirs. Spiker says tonight the city of Portsmouth is hosting a seminar on neighborhood watches, and he and the rest of the members of their neighborhood watch plan to attend. In Craddock, Portsmouth, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.